so today we are over here for counseling session on joint CSIR UGC net so all of you know that the application has been started online application has been started now let me discuss few important uh, points or if you need some help I will be answering your questions correct so let me discuss so I will be discussing uh, the following points introduction about NT and joint CSIS UGC net joint CSIR UGC net examination and so on so have a look so all of you know what is NTA so I don't think I should go through it because we have already become late so you know what is NTA you know what is uh, UGC CSR so important thing over is now scholarship is 37,000 which has been increased and you have annual contingent grant of 20,000 so important thing is now this stipend has increased to 37,000 and it will go up to 42,000 okay then these are the dates we can see on your screen so uh, application online application form filling up has been started from 1st November and the last date is 30th November so don't wait till last date kindly fill it up as early as possible and last day of fees also 30th November and correction window will open between 2nd and 4th of December if you have done any mistakes so it will be open only for 3 days 2nd to 4th dates of exams are 26, 27 and 28 December and you know that this is a computer based test 180 minutes objective type with MCQ and you all of you I think applying for physical sciences medium of paper is bilingual English and Hindi and then you know this is another important slide where you have to be very careful while filling up the application form so a candidate may apply either for JRF or lectureship lectureship means assistant professor also he or she may indicate his or her preference in the online application as the case may be if a candidate applies for JRF and fulfills the laid down eligibility criteria for lectureship assistant professor also such a candidate will be considered for both JRF and uh, assistant professor basically if your age limit is less than 28 if you are not more than 28 so you should apply for both JRF and lectureship but if your age is above 28 or you are intentionally applying for assistant professorship or lectureship then you will not be considered for JRF so if you are putting or you are selecting JRF then you will be uh, considered for both is that fine and if you are MSc student yes you are uh, eligible and if you, your result is awaiting still you can apply for this exam BSc final students are not eligible for this one so uh, these are some fellowships NFSC NFOBC so national fellowship for scheduled caste national fellowship for other backward classes so these uh, fellowships are also distributed or given based on your CS card so you can go through these websites for further uh, information about these fellowships so what is the eligibility criteria so number one thing is MSc or equivalent degree integrated BS MS BS 4 years B B tech B pharma correct so all of uh, students are eligible and what is the percentage criteria is 55 percent for general unreserved or general EWS and 50% for OBC non criminal SCST third gender and POD candidates or candidates enrolled for MSc or having completed 10 plus 2 plus 3 years of the above qualification examination as on the closing date of online submission correct so if most of you are BSc or uh, MSc correct so all of you are eligible okay then BSc honors or equivalent degree holders or students enrolled in integrated MSc PhD or MS PhD program with at least 55 percent so if you are already registered in some institute with integrated MSc PhD or MS PhD program then you are also eligible so BSc honors final year result awaited candidates are not eligible to apply if you are B BTEC only then you are uh, eligible for fellowship only these candidates will not be eligible for lecturership or assistant professor so if you are B student or B tech student then you are eligible only for 
uh, JRF, not for lecturership. That's it. In this eligibility criteria, then upper age limit is 28 year. You must be knowing it. And there is a uh, is relaxation of five years in case of SCST and third gender persons with disability, female applicants, and three years. Female applicants are also eligible up to 33 years of age. Correct. And three years in case of OBC. Uh, OBC means non criminal layer, not any OBC. And for lecturership, there is no upper age limit. So if you are a female candidate, you are, you are eligible for 33 years of age. Then a pattern of question paper, it will have three parts, part A, part B, part C, 20 question part A, 25 question part B, 13 part C, total 75. And uh, yes. Uh, इसका मतलब ये है कि जिस ही एज 28 है वो उससे ऊपर का व्यक्ति जीआरएफ का फॉर्म नहीं भर सकता है हां नहीं आप एलिजिबल नहीं है उसके लेक्चरर शिप के लिए आप एलिजिबल है करेक्ट हां यस सो मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू अटेम्प्ट दिस 15 ओवर है 20 ओवर है 20 ओवर है आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो दीस थिंग्स एंड मार्किंग इज गिवन ओवर हियर नेगेटिव मार्किंग इज 0.5 सो आई विल बी शेयरिंग यू दिस पीपीटी विद ऑल ऑफ यू सो Negative marking is also there. Okay, then so I am moving a little bit fast because I know we are late today. Okay, then what? We are on slide number 11, then 12. What we have? Okay, I think. Okay. Uh, yes fine so part a negative marking part b negative marking c is shown over here so the question paper will be in three parts part a part b part c questions okay you can go through it this is not an important thing so your subject code is 705 and subject of the test is physical science and uh, the test will be in hindi and english version Candidates opting for Hindi medium in the application form will be given bilingual paper, but candidates opting for English medium will be given English version only. So candidates are required to answer in the medium as per option exercise in the application form. In case of any ambiguity between Hindi and English version due to translation, English version should be or would be treated as final. So be careful if you are giving in Hindi and if you think there is an error, so English version will be treated as final. So this is the syllabus. Correct. So we will share it with all of you. And now, so you have some dates over here. Correct. Examination schedule is between 26th and 28th and on what date you will be having the exam that will be uh, means they will share this information later on and you can apply using these links. I am also giving the links over here and fee is 1100 for general candidates for general EWS OBC non criminal fee is 550 SCST 275 third gender. 275 okay very good and this is the cutoff for june 2019 so all of you are uh physical uh, physics students so in jrf it was 51.06 cutoff 44.94 for ews 44.38 for obc so you can go through it 51 and 45 so there is a difference of around six uh, in the cutoff similarly this is the cutoff for june 2020 so i will be sharing you this ppt once uh, i will finish this presentation then you can go through okay, what was the cutoff for different years fine so i uh, i will also be giving you if we have cutoff for uh, june 2023 fine so after completing your syllabus what we will do we will do online live revision i think some courses uh, some course revision have already started and in last we will give you some full length test also okay that's it in this presentation now i know some of you have some questions because some students are already sending me their questions so now i can take some questions if you have 
this ppt will be shared to you within 10 to 15 minutes yes any question by anyone or any difficulty because i am getting so many whatsapp messages they are having some difficulty hello sir yes sir. Uh, Go is ahead. there any uh, information about providing about the, uh, is there any information about providing the calculator yes 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 about yes providing yes yes the calculator with yes the there is a calculator we will let you know correct fine we will give you the uh, calculator format also which calculator is used but you are right sometimes they give it and sometimes they don't but i don't have any information right now in on their because, uh, website correct calculator information they have not given so far yes anything else Sir, MSc, uh, so hmm. degree hai, kya MSc only he is getting this problem. He is saying, he's, I think you shared your uh, screenshot also with me, correct? Yes, sir. So he is saying, let me check what he has sent sir, me. Sir, option is just MSc equivalent. MSc is option. Nahi hai, sir. Huh, this is something which I am not getting why they are doing it because MSc is the main qualification for this exam, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, if there is another option, if there is another option, then we can type MSc. So, okay, let's do MSc. Maybe they have some problem over here. Correct? Because MSc is the main qualification for this exam. And if you are there... In graduation, there is also a BSc honors, but it is not only BSc. It is not only BSc. So, we will do BSc. Definitely, you have to do it. Yes. This is... BHMSC fill karna. I have done it today. That's what I am saying. That's what I am saying. Because I can't open the form. This is perfectly fine. Acceptable. Perfectly fine. Correct? It will not create any problem to any one of you. Because finally, you have to show your certificates also. सर हम जैसे कैलकुलेटर के लिए जो हमारा सेंटर है वहाँ पे रिक्वेस्ट कर सकते हैं जैसे नो 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 नहीं 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 सेंटर के नहीं वो एनटीए को यू हैव टू राइट ए मेल राइट नाउ कि इस कैलकुलेटर इज आफ्टर फिलिंग ऑफ योर फॉर्म यू राइट ए मेल टू एनटीए एंड आस्क देम कि इस कैलकुलेटर अलाउड फाइन सर अगर अलाउड है तो या तो हम घर से लेके हाँ 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 नहीं 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 कैलकुलेटर तो ऑनलाइन कंप्यूटर बेस्ड टेस्ट है तो घर से तो कैलकुलेटर दे विल नॉट अलाउ यू दे विल गिव यू ऑनलाइन कैलकुलेटर वे डे अलाउड इन एग्जाम बट एस ए कैंडिडेट यू शुड नो दिस थिंग कि वेदर यू कैन यूज सर रिजल्ट अवेटेड लोग तो एमएससी इक्विवेलेंट भर सकते हैं बिल्कुल रिजल्ट अवेटेड भी एमएससी भरे हैं ओके सर यस यू आर एमएससी स्टूडेंट इन रिजल्ट अवेटेड कैटेगरी करेक्ट ओके सर यस एनी अदर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर आस्किंग द सेम क्वेश्चन आई हैव सम मोर व्हाट्सएप विद मी लेट मी चेक Yes, if you want to ask any question, yes, I'm here for another 5-10 minutes. Yes, this was the question, yes, only 4 options, MSC client, okay, fine. Yes, any other thing? Any other question you want to ask? No, sir, thank you. Okay, perfectly fine. Then you can enjoy your dinner. Thank you so much and uh, thanks for bearing the delay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Sir. Okay. Thank bye bye, you, everyone. Thank okay. you, sir. But all of you have to apply it and don't wait till the last date. Correct? Sir, I have a contact number. Yes, sir. Sir. My contact number is given on my PPT first slide. Okay. okay, sir. So, most preferred mode of communicating should be WhatsApp because sometimes we are busy. So, if you will be calling me, I may or may not be picking your phone, but WhatsApp, I will definitely give you a reply. And if there is some uh, certain issues, I can call you back also. Fine? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Th
ओके सर ओके भैया सर सर सॉरी सर एयर बॉयज इज नॉट ऑडिबल सर सर एमएससी इक्विवेलेंट क्या भरना पड़ेगा वो अदर में भरेंगे अदर में एमएससी अदर में जाके एमएससी लिख दीजिए यस दैट्स व्हाट स्टूडेंट्स आर सेइंग कि दे कैन फिल इट लाइक दिस बिकॉज़ आई एम सरप्राइज्ड द मेन क्वालिफिकेशन इज एमएससी व्हाई इट इज शोइंग मींस हाउ दे क्रिएटेड दिस पेज फाइन सर अगर हम वर्जन डालेंगे तो क्या उसमें इंग्लिश और हिंदी दोनों में ही पेपर आते हैं इंग्लिश डालोगे तो सिर्फ इंग्लिश में आएगा yes, हिंदी हिंदी डालोगे हिंदी और इंग्लिश दोनों में आएगा ओके फाइन यस यस हाँ एनी अदर क्वेश्चन बाय एनी वन ओके इफ देर आर नो मोर क्वेश्चन देन वी कैन से बाय टू एवरीवन एंड एंजॉय योर डिनर गुड नाइट एवरीवन गुड नाइट सर ओके बाय गुड नाइट सर गुड नाइट सर ओके बाय बाय एवरीवन गुड नाइट